So let's go back to Visual Studio Code and I want to go to the component. So let's go inside of the component and I want to create a filter subject. So I'm going to go down and then create a private field and I'm going to call it filter subject and it's going to be a subject. So we're going to say filter subject, set it equal to a new behavior subject. So I'm going to do new behavior subject and we have to give it a type and that's going to be a string. And we also have to initialize it with an initial value because it's a behavior subject. So here I'm going to give it an empty string. So this is going to be the filter subject. And then I want to create another observable of that filter subject. So I'm going to say filter. Uh, let's just copy this name. And I'm just going to put filter and call it status, for example, filter status and put a dollar sign because it's going to be an observable. And then I'm going to set this to this that filter that is observable. Oh, not the filter status. This is supposed to be the filter subject and we want it as an observable. So this is our behavior subject, the filter subject and the filter status, which is what we're going to be using in the UI is an observable off of that filter subject. And if you guys are not familiar with RxJS and the behavior subject and subject, you can go ahead and Google it. I don't want to go into the explanation right now because it can be a little bit um, confusing. So I'm just going to show you how I'm going to use this. If you guys want me to you know, make a tutorial about behavior subject and RxJS in general, then I can do that. I have a lot of courses pile up and a lot of tutorials pile up and I have to finish those first and I don't have anything in the near future on my list to do with uh, RxJS. But if you guys really want it, just let me know. I can actually do it. But we're going to be using this subject in the UI and then we're going to react to it accordingly so that we can show the loading spinner or the little icon to ping the server. So now we can go back into UI and use this observable so that we can determine when we want to show the little spinning icon or the router icon. So let's go back to the UI and we want to go into this guy right there. So in here, what we want to do is to either show this ping server with this material icon, or we're going to show the spinner with the font awesome spinner. So up here, I'm going to do ng if, so I'm going to do ng if and set it equal to, and then I'm going to put parentheses and then I'm going to pass in the observable. Remember this is an observable, so we have to subscribe to it and we can do that by using the async pipe. So I'm going to do a sync and then we need to check to see if it's empty. So we're going to put empty string or we want to make sure that this subject doesn't equal the current IP address of the current server and the iteration. So I'm going to copy this again one more time and then go over here and then paste it. And this time I'm going to use the not operator. So I'm going to put a question mark here. And then I want to make sure this doesn't equal the current server and the iteration for that IP address. So here I'm going to pass in the server IP address. So that's the first condition that we need for the second condition. So for us to show the little spinner, we just have to check to make sure that the current filter status, which is pretty much going to be the IP address, I actually equals the IP address and the current iteration. So we can just copy all this and then go down and paste it here. And I'm just going to remove all of this and then just check to see if it equals the current IP address in the current iteration for that server. So if this filter status equal the IP address, then we're going to show this. If it equals empty or it doesn't equal the current IP address and the iteration, then we're going to show ping server and that's going to do the trick for us. And remember, we initialize this with an empty string. So currently this condition should be true and we should show ping server. So let's go back to the UI and you can see we have this little icon here that says ping server. And if we go back to VS code real quick, the way that we're going to control this filtered status. So this observable that we define here is whenever we're going to ping the server. So whenever we ping a server, we're going to call this subject and then we give it the current IP address. So whoever is subscribed to this, they're going to react to it in the UI and they're going to be like, okay, this equal the current IP address of the server and the current iteration, then it's going to show the spinner and this is going to be no longer true. So it's no longer going to show the little icon to ping the server. And another thing I want to point out is me using an observable. As you can see here, I'm using a subject and then I'm using an observable. So why would I do that when I could just use a simple variable? Like I can just define a variable that's not an observable. And that's what I'm going to tell you at the end of the course, I'm going to tell you why we take this approach and some of the benefits that you can get from using this approach.